Okay, awesome. So we're recording. Um, this is Rebecca and I'm here with Jen Fieldman. And uh, the two of us just wanted to have a little conversation and explain what we've been putting together. And we're really excited for you guys to get out of our Pipeline to Prosperity event. So Jen, why don't you introduce yourself? We'll have a little conversation and um, people can kind of get a sneak peek for how we're gonna be doing this thing. Excellent. So I'm Jen Fieldman. I'm the marketing side of our sales and marketing course. And I have a background that goes uh, about 20 years back working across corporate uh, agencies, the gamut. And then I started working with entrepreneurs a year and a half ago and really helping them craft their strategies so that they can have consistent leads and consistent high quality leads coming in for their business. I love it. You know, we are so, I didn't actually realize we were so simpatico, but I've also been in business. I've, I've been self-employed for 20 years. I've never worked for someone um, since college, but I started my business a year and a half ago as well. I think I knew that. Look, Look at, that. at us. I know. Look at us learning. <laughs> <laughs> I know. Um, yeah, so we, I mean, we obviously had a pivot. This was going to be an in-person event on April 22nd, and now it starts April 22nd you know, part of a four week, an hour to an hour and a half, I think per session we're going to be having. But, um, you know, we, when I remember reaching out to you, um, I was on an airplane getting back from a mastermind, um, out West. And I was like, I felt like entrepreneurs love to market and don't really love to sell. Yep. And, um, and then there's a lot of salespeople that are now getting into marketing, at least on social media that don't know how to market. Right. And, um, <laughs> and I'm from a sales background and I figure, I feel like, I feel like I have a good background on marketing, but I'm not the, the guru, you know? And, um, so, you know, since we launched this and I'm, I'm happy, you're going to be talking week one, you're just going to be kicking people off yep. marketing. Um, and then I'll be finishing it with, with sales, but why don't you explain a little bit about what you're going to dig into with marketing and like, why it's important and how, yeah. how much of like money and time and trial and error that people are going to save. Yeah, absolutely. So it's funny because I know a lot of entrepreneurs and salespeople, they're using social media for marketing right now. And it's a great time to be doing that. But there are so many opportunities I see where someone can just have these tiny little shifts and really optimize that content to have more of that marketing lens. Um, that's why I was so excited when you reached out because I know the marketing piece, but honestly, I haven't even thought about a sales pipeline or really how they go hand in hand so much and that you really do need to have both to be successful. And I really feel like us being able to COVID pivot, as I'm calling it, has been this, this amazing opportunity because we were able to turn this one day workshop into what I really feel like is the best of both worlds for people. It's you get both of us for four weeks. It's online plus it's group coaching. Plus we're going to have a Facebook group so that you can have access and ask questions both of us and of your peers. But really when it starts to come down to the marketing like you said, we're kicking it off right away. And that's how you can start generating awareness right away. So you don't have to wait a month to be able to implement any of the things that we're starting with, but we're going to pack it all in to week one. And we're going to talk about your branding. We're going to talk about how you can evaluate your branding. We're going to talk about crafting a marketing strategy. You're going to walk away from week one with an actual fill in the blank market strategy that I'm going to walk you through on the call, but that you can also then take and customize to your own business because it doesn't matter what works for my business or what works for your business, Rebecca, it really matters what works for someone's individual business. Um, and then we're also going to talk about messaging, how you get optimal engagement and the last but not least, Habits and tactics, so you can implement this with ease. So my philosophy has always been that things should be smart and they should be simple and they should be strategic. And that's what you're gonna be able to walk away from the marketing piece of our course. Oh my gosh, I love it. I know you and I have a theme, like you're doing like habits, skills, mindset, you said strategies and tactics, but for marketing, and I'm doing that for sales. And um, 
Yeah, I love it. And this is this is a thing. And I, I realized this today. Well, I verbalized it today earlier today. But sales isn't complicated. Our feelings about sales are complicated. Yes. Um, and um, so there's so many like things like I don't want to be that person or I hate to sell or I just like to network. And it's true. Like we're all like one person away. But what if we were more strategic with our pipeline and our prospect list? Like I'm blown away by people who don't have a prospect list. And it's always bigger than we thought, you know, in, um, so this is like a recession proof, um, course that we're doing and it's meant to, um, get you through it. Like you should absolutely be selling right now. I think I'm like the anti-sales sales coach. Like I've never really liked salesy people. <laughs> like, <laughs> yeah, and I feel like that's the person no one wants to be. But right. absolutely, if you have a product or a service that can help people and it can help you by putting money in your pocket, that keeps the economy going. Like no one wins when we hide our head in the sand. Yeah. And um, I think like bad times always reveal our inadequacies. Like my shoulder, I've got a bad shoulder. I don't want to, but like, anyway, I've got a bad shoulder. I got saw the chiropractor today. <laughs> I got some work done. And she's like, it's your weakest link. And I was like, that's mm -hmm. so true. Like when we're hurting, when um, things go bad, it's always our weakest link that gets hit. And a lot of businesses, a lot of entrepreneurs and salespeople who this is geared towards, they're realizing their weakest link. And Absolutely. a lot of it is, is solved simply. And um, so mm -hmm. what we're doing, so we are going to give like, we're giving fill in the blanks, we're giving um, examples of sales scripts, you're not going to get like, what I'm not going to craft someone's entire sales script that costs, you know, 1000s of dollars. You and I have one on one coaching we do. Um, and then mm -hmm. we have this entire course is $247. That's, I mean, it costs $300 an hour to work with me and, mm -hmm. you know, and, and with you too. And I, when our clients, it's worth it because they make more money because they figure out the simple thing that they need to tweak, um, to move forward. And so that's what we want to do. I, I talk about servant selling, how you're going to talk about marketing, growing the no like, and trust. And then I'm going to talk about how you serve people and let them buy and you feel good about doing it. You can align, you can do all that great stuff, but you have to prospect and you have to hear no's and you have to be willing to put yourself out there. So this course is going to like wrap it all up at a pretty bow. Um, I know people also get options to work one-on-one -on -one with you or myself. They can mm -hmm. take their pick and neither one of us is offended <laughs> if we don't get No, it. no, because I think everybody has, everybody leans one way, right? Somebody might feel comfortable with their marketing, but then it comes to their sales and it's like, they can't close and, or they just, they aren't prospecting. And those words can seem, I think, really scary, but it's the same thing. I've had clients who say, I have no problem when I get somebody on the phone selling my services, but I need to get people on the phone. So how can we do that? And I think the one piece I really love is that it's just, it's just it's not sales that we're going to make not icky. There are people who hate marketing. They don't want to see marketing. They don't want their content to seem salesy. And you can do this. You can market in a way that feels aligned to you. So that's what I talk a lot about is what feels aligned to you and how you want to communicate. And it goes hand in hand because you have servant selling. And I'm going to talk to you about how you really engage with your customer or your client and make them the hero so that they really feel like, oh, they're talking to me. I love this. Yeah. Before we talk about this. I know, I know. And every time, every time you and I talk, we're like, oh, let's do this. And that's a good idea. And here we go. So I feel like, um, I feel like I'm smarter. <laughs> Same. Same. And you're smarter. This is, um, yeah, this is really good. Anyway, so I'm glad we can hop on here. Um, yeah. I know the, the rest of our event is on Eventbrite. I know you and I both have links on our websites. People can find that through all of our profiles and social All of media. our profiles. Yeah, always, always. But um, yeah, you know, I know that, um, and, and here's the deal. Like I had invested, I, I, I pay a coach $500 an hour. I've invested in courses before. And I had um, one person say, this one was going to be 500 bucks a month. And um, it was a Tony Robbins course. And he said, you know, if you don't have $500 to invest in your business, you're not going to have a business. Like if you don't feel confident, you can make up that money. And I know that, and I say that because I understand, like I lost, I have lost clients in this, you know, 
Corona mm -hmm. recession. I, I don't know if you have, but we, we, I know both of you and I have also gained clients. Right. <laughs> um, and we're getting calls because people mm -hmm. go, okay, I need to actually make money. I need to do it in a way that feels good. Um, and so anyway, and so what I'm saying is really like, if you should feel confident, we, we have priced this. I mean, it's almost like I've had people say, I don't know what I'm going to get out of $247. Yep. For. I mean, like, and, and so it's like, you know, it's going to be good. I promise you it's going to be good. We will never price this, this low ever yep. again. I know we won't. Um, we sure won't. Because <laughs> <laughs> there's thousands of dollars of time that you and I have put into this in our previous experiences. You know, I built a $50 million insurance business. I have taught people how to make millions of dollars. Like, we know how to do this, whether you have, no sales experience or you've had a ton and you need, you need a refresher. Like mm -hmm. a lot of people, like a lot of people don't know how to communicate right. um, where they should, like where they should communicate their why, right? Like Simon Sinek says, people don't buy what you do. They buy why you do it. Mm -hmm. And yet how many salespeople never in their marketing or in sales never communicate why they're doing what they're doing. Right. And it's, you know, similar with someone who might call themselves an entrepreneur versus a salesperson. It's, we start because we have a why and there's a place for that and there's a place to communicate that in your marketing and communications and you know there are some people where that's all they talk about and there are other people where i've counseled clients this is great as a support point for why someone wants to work with you but you need to put your client first and so you know i've worked with multi-million dollar clients, I've worked with tiny clients, I've done PR, I've done this, I've done that. And you know, the other thing too is all of the marketing, it's organic. There's no, <laughs> there's no take our course and I'm gonna tell you, you have to invest X, Y, Z in ads. That's not how I do it. It's all about how can you gain organic growth through your marketing and then with Rebecca, you, then it's like, great here are all these leads coming in and now you're going to help them make sales and clients out of them. So there's just, there's really, there's no losing, I think in this, honestly. Yeah, yeah no, it, it's like, there's, I always say like you can't say the wrong thing to the wrong person, right? Yeah. Like, so there's, there's some sales you're never going to make. Yep. And in sales, when you're failing 70% of the time, you're still successful, which is like so crazy. Yeah. Um, that's how much of pipeline you need. You need to see a lot of people. Mm -hmm. um, but it's really, um, I forgot where I was going with my train of thought. But <laughs> I don't know what I was saying. I was like, I saw the snow outside. I was like, squirrel. <laughs> no. <laughs> right? Oh, yeah, squirrel. Oh, yeah. But I forgot what I was going to say. You need to know what you're going to say. Like literally, that was what I was going to talk about. There needs to be a process like we you know all entrepreneurs they start businesses or salespeople, and you know your product you learn your craft but you actually need to practice your sales talk you need to practice marketing like professional basketball players they practice free throws and they practice dribbling and they practice their drills no matter even as they're professionals so as a professional in your business like this needs to be an area that you practice and you know very intimately because without a sale, there is no business. And like we are saying with this um, course, like the success of your business is not the size of your bank account. It's the size of your pipeline. And we don't want people to be like scarcity mentality focused. Like now I don't have any money. Now I'm going to go look for people. You really want to like, you know, be in there. So, um, all right. I think I just lost Jen. I don't even know what happened, but she's not on my screen anymore. So we just wanted you guys, this is like a long thing, but we, I just wanted, um, Jen and I to talk and to give you an idea of how we are pouring ourselves into this course. And we really think it's going to serve so many people. It's at a price point where a lot of people can get this. And we're really excited for those who've already signed up. We're only taking 20 people, um, but go to our links. The event is actually on Eventbrite. You can register on there, Pipeline of Prosperity for Productive Entrepreneurs. All right. Have a good rest of your day, you guys.